Okay. I think I can say I got this one completely filled. I still got a little bit of space down there on the bottom and a spot right there. But it's got what I can put on there. I'm ready to get my second shelf, but that's going to have to wait for 10 more weights when payday comes around again. <clears throat> my, my husband works full-time job. I sometimes work part-time when I can send the kids to school and go work with him. His boss is a sweetheart. Let's me come in and work when I can. But they're getting ready to shut the place down because um, they're going to be remodeling it here soon. They're supposed to expand the pier out back the way it used to be before the hurricane tore it in half. Um, and they're revamping the kitchen, which I'm looking forward to see what they come up with when they do, redo the kitchen. Blah! When they redo the kitchen. I like to cook. I have been um, country cook for several um, restaurants for years. And that's where I find my passion at. But the problem is, is I don't do well with stress. So me and stress don't, don't do well. And finding a place that I can work at with an awesome boss that understands my issues and works with me on it. I have to admit, um, Avalon Pier, the managers and owners there are awesome. And if you're... Um, needing to work and have to work on limitations they work with you because right now they're needing anybody out there they're hiring anyone and everyone that will come down that to the beach to work most places have dropped their um criminal background checks now they're like you need to work come work it's gotten so bad that some of them are hiring people under the table to come and work so I was like wow it's uh, hard to believe that nobody wants to work I'm like how are y'all taking care of yourself because everything I got everything that you see right here come out of my pocket I work to provide for my part of the food make sure I have what I need for my family I've always prepped for three to five months but since this virus hit we went um, a complete six months of no work shut down and everything else that, that has happened we were scared just like everyone else and I told my husband I'm like until I know what's going on I'm not doing anything because I do have an autoimmune disease just like my daughter does and I can't afford to catch this mess so I do what I can to stock what I can buy what I can I'm always encouraging someone who uh, puts up their videos and shows that you know they're trying to do their part because have you guys been in a store where they have limit on how much you can buy have any of you been in a store like that I watched at Aldi, I watched an old man try to buy two loaves of bread. It wasn't even two loaves of bread. It was a bread and a pack of hot dog buns. And they wouldn't let him get both. They made him buy one. And he was really old, guys. I mean, he, he had to been in his 70s. He said he needed this for him and his wife. So me being me, I already prepped and had my breads and stuff with my family. I grabbed the hot dog buns and bought them and gave them to him. I said, I got you back. And he thanked me for it. They tried to pay me back for the buns. I said, nope. Got to look out for ourselves. Because these stores will not. They put limits on things. They don't care what your age is. Or how many people's in your household. They're not going to let you buy what you're used to buying. So, get yourself some self-rising flour. Get yourself some powdered milk that you can make milk out of. And guess what? 
you have two ingredients that you can make flatbed bread or biscuits. One cup of flour and one cup of milk. Mix it together. You can pan fry it or you can make biscuits out of it. I have done both. I've even flattened it out to the point to make pizza sauce for Katie so that she can have her little pizzas. Wasn't that hard to do? I didn't even own a rolling pin because the last rolling pin I had, I, I cracked it. Y'all don't want to know what I cracked it on. <laughs> Me and my brother got in an argument and I hit him with it. <laughs> His head's harder than I thought. Cracked my rolling pin. But, just saying. My husband sent me a text telling me he's got to work a double ship and I'm missing him like mad. Because I'm bored. It's just me and the kids. And there's only so many things I can, so many questions I can ask them how their day went. Went over with Nor with her spelling words for the week. Which is three little words. Easiest thing to go with her. Worked on some numbers with her. It all took about 10 minutes to sit down with her. Chat how her day went. Do some homework with her. And if she's done with me. She wants to go do her own thing. Which is most of the time whatever her sister's doing. I noticed I dropped two subscribers and someone thumbs me down on my cheater video. I guess they didn't like my opinion on it. Oh well. Can't please them all. I do YouTube for peace of mind. Sometimes I do tend to talk a lot because I'm by myself a lot. I have nobody to talk to but the four walls and the cat. So I get on here and talk. And I like to hear what some people like to say. And I haven't been on YouTube in a, quite a while since Nora was a baby, which was five years. Because I got hit up with the trolls really bad. And nobody wants to deal with them. And back then I was going through you know, baby depression and all that stuff. And I really didn't need to be hit up with the trolls. They sure don't care about anybody but themselves. But one of them made themselves a video during the, um, when we first had our first shutdown from this virus complaining that they didn't have any toilet paper to wipe their butts. Can you believe that, y'all? Not having any toilet paper to wipe your butts? I'm like this. My mom never bought toilet paper. <laughs> she didn't waste her money on toilet paper. She had to buy her cigarettes. You want it to wipe your butt, you either wash it with the washcloth or you air dry it. <laughs> yeah. That's how, that's how she rolled. She didn't waste her money on, on paper products. Honestly, I, I wish I didn't have to, but I am tired of wiping Youngin's butts. So I'm going to get uh, paper products for them. That is all I have. I know um, people have tons, but you know what? That will get me three months. Yes, the two on top is paper towels. I don't use a lot of paper towels. Unless I'm going to be cooking with a lot of grease. But here lately, i come to... Except grease to be my friend. So I don't even bother draining the grease off. Just sitting here. It's actually kind of cooled off. It's not so hot now. This humidity is something awful. I'm going to be moving my garden out that way next year. I'm doing um, above ground beds. And I want to put one more shed here, but I want to go with the bigger shed. I'm just um, debating on that because I still have to get a car. Having one car family sucks. 
I'm like I said, I'm stuck at home all the time. I my husband's schedule and my schedule is chaotic. A lot of times I have to get up at three, four o'clock in the morning, take him to work, come home, get the kids on the bus, and then run off to the doctor appointments that I have to go to. And I'm tired. So nighttime comes, eight o'clock comes, I get the kids to bed and I'm out. I've never been one of those people that, you know, as soon as you hit the bell the bed, head hits that pillow and falls asleep. Here lately I have been. Which is unusual for me. Normally it takes me a while to get my brain to shut down. But being a prepper to me, what started out being prepper was the hardships that we've had to go through. Like I said, we lived here before. My house used to be literally right here. And when that storm came up the sound, it sent a um, strong enough wind that it ripped my roof off. And I had Niagara Falls all throughout my house. I couldn't save a whole lot of stuff. I lost a lot of paperwork, pictures, things that, you know, you want to treasure and value. Which has brought me to my new way of living with... It's just not worth it for me anymore to save the knickknacks, to buy the decorations for the holidays. I come here, I just, I told my husband, I said, I'm done with all the holiday decorations and stuff, so I donated all of it. I got rid of a great deal of the craft stuff because I just don't do crafts anymore like I used to. Katie likes to mess around with it once in a while. But here lately, she's into makeup, wanting to do something called cosplay. She likes to dress up. And that's her thing right now. So I support that and get her what she wants. And it keeps her busy. Nor is into playing her Xbox or helping her sister do the dress up stuff. Nor is going to be a computer geek, I think. She likes computers. She likes um, playing Minecraft. And that, that's about it. That's what's been going on here the last few years is trying to figure out how to make our way of life be better so that we're not struggling so much and we're more happier and working less. The only reason why my husband's working like he is because they can't keep nobody working. Nobody wants to work. And he's a manager. He's a full-time manager where he works at. Nobody wants to work. When they do get people in working, they quit. Well, I know in my case, I can't help it. You got kids, you're not going to be able to work. Both parents aren't going to be able to work because the schools call you nonstop. And then they don't even give you 10 minutes to get to the school to get your child because your child has been put in quarantine. They don't even take the time out to tell us, to explain to us their new system. They just expect us to know what to do. It's irritating. So you guys are probably going to get a few videos from me every day with my talking and, and just thinking about things from the past. I was having a dream last night thinking about my first husband and how he OD'd in my arms. That stuff, that hit home. It, it, it woke me up. It made me realize that that's not the life I wanted for myself. And I got the help that I needed and got away from that toxic relationship. And I moved on. And I'm grateful that I moved on because now I found the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life and that is my second husband. I got two beautiful children by him. And I don't regret anything, any of my decisions with marrying him, Divorcing my first husband because like I said in some of my other videos, I believe in my marriage vows. I believe it's a huge sin to get a divorce 
And I'm probably going to burn for my first divorce. But I'm praying and hoping that God is merciful and forgives me for not being stronger and being more supportive of what my first husband needed me to be. But in the end, he ended up marrying his fourth wife. I was his third wife, actually. He married his fourth wife, and she turned out just instead of trying to help him, she joined him. Got into all the drugs and everything. I actually stayed friends with him and her for a long time. We didn't end our relationship on hatred. But he understood where I was coming from. And he didn't bother me anymore after we separated. Until I decided I was, you know, I wanted that divorce. All I did, I took the divorce papers to him. He signed them. I got the divorce. Didn't cost him nothing wasn't that hard to do I wasn't married um we didn't have children so we didn't have to worry about lawyer and all that you know fees and stuff it cost me eighty dollars to get a divorce that's all it cost and it won't even six weeks afterwards that my first husband asked my first husband, my second husband asked me to marry him three months after he asked me to marry him we had we had our date set, church set, everything for our wedding. God threw us a curveball and blessed me with Katie. When they told me I was pregnant, he passed out. He was floored. He thought they were joking him. Because we've I've had doctors tell me I couldn't get pregnant because I have polycystic ovary syndrome. They told me that I can never have kids. But God just showed up and said, hey. I approve of what you're doing and who you're with. And bless me with my two girls. Nora was a surprise too. I wasn't expecting her. I was content with just Katie. Well, I'm going to have to get off here because my phone is saying it's running too hot. Sorry. It's really hot here too. I'll chat with y'all later and God bless you all.